All right, welcome back. Now the step is to transfer the program. So let's see what are the various steps involved in that. The first step is we have to make sure in our HMI we have the transfer mode manual or automatic. So as I told you before, we have to make it automatic and our HMI has an automatic mode. So, and the next, there are a few requirements. You have to open your software. So let's uh, turn off the slideshow. I will open my software. So we're going to use Siemens TIA in which we're going to program over screens. So the step one is you have to create a new project. So I have created a new project by the name one and you have to add a device. Okay. Now before adding a device, you have to make sure your HMI is connected to your PC via a Ethernet, Ethernet wire. Okay. That's the same wire which we use to link our PLC to the PC. Okay. The same wire we have connected to the HMI. So once you have connected the wire, you will click on add new device. Okay. Now you have to choose your Siemens basic panel. So the one which we are using is KTP 400. Now in KTP 400, you have three models. So let me just verify the model which we are using. So this is the model. So it's N with 0AX0. So let's we'll go back. Um, this is the model we are using. Okay. So you have to make sure this matches your HMI model. Then you have to click OK. So once you click on OK, it will do some background, uh, you know, installation of your HMI device in the software. And then we have to do some startup processes. Now, this is the device wizard in which we have to define some parameters for the HMI. So the first step is it asks for the PLC. Now, right now, we are not dealing with PLCs. As I told you, this will come later in the course. So let's skip this part. So we'll come to next. Now here it is asking for some resolutions, which is defined. We cannot change it. Some header, if you want date and time on the header of your HMI, you can use that. Or if you want a logo or not of Siemens, you can also remove it. Or you can also put your own logo if you want, right? So this is the header settings. Then you have some alarm screens. So if you want to have alarm screen predefined here, you can use it. If you don't want it, you can remove it. So these are some active system events if you want to view it. So these are predefined some screens, which is an optional to have it or not. All right. Then we go into the next and we can see how many screens we want. So this is the root screen. Now let's say I need one more screen besides the main screen. I will click on plus and I have my screen zero. Okay. If I need one more screen, I will click plus and I have one screen one. Okay, so this, this defines how many screens do you want. And you can also delete your screen. You can rename your screen from here. So this is a startup. You can, of course, do that later as well. But this is initially, if you're sure about how many screens you want, you can do that here. Then you click on next. Then comes the system screen, which is generally your root screen. So you can select which system screens you want in your project. So these system screens includes your cement, somatic PLC, diagnostic view, your project information, your user administration, if you want ID and password control, your system uh, information and some operating modes, some language switching options and stop runtime options. So let's let's have it so that we can see what we have in the HMI. Then you click on next and you can see some buttons. If you need some logon or language buttons, you can define here. OK, so let's not have it. So I click on finish and once I click on finish, it will prepare the project for me because of the selections which I made. So you can see here, this is the root screen. And if you go to the screen tree here, these are the different screens which are automatically created because of the wizard. So this is a root screen with this symbol indicate this screen is active here. Now this, if you go to screen zero, this is my screen zero and this is my screen one. And you will notice in the root screen, it has already given a button to go to screen zero by default for you. So this is an extended courtesy. If you go to screen zero, you will see a button screen one to move to the screen one or back will take back to the root screen. All right. And then you have other screens, your Siemens PLC system diagnostic, your system information about the your HMI device or PLC if it's connected or not. And now you have system screens here, which has user administration settings, somatic PLC system diagnostic screen, system information, different jobs, project information. We'll see these screens in our HMI once we configure that. Then you have user administration where you can put your user ID and password. You can see how many users are logged on in your system and you can see uh, how they are defined in the groups. We'll see that user administration later in the lessons, but this is just an introduction video about this, how to transfer the logic. Now our project is ready. We have to transfer that in the HMI. Now we have to make sure about the IP address of our system. So in that case, I will go to my control panel and, or I can go directly to network connections. 
In network connection, I'll go to my Ethernet and I will check the IP address which is inside my Ethernet card. It is 192.168.0.2. So this IP address is one less than the IP address in the HMI, which was 192.168.0.3. So this uh, this setting is all right. If you want to verify it again, I can go to settings in the HMI and I will go to network interface. And here you can see it's 192.168.0.3. And in my PLC, it's 192.168.0.2. So this is this is OK. This makes sense. So you can turn it off. And now what you have to do is you have to just download the logic. In that case, this is your HMI device. Now you have to first save your project. So once you save the project, you have to now link this HMI to your PLC. So in that case, you have to first turn off your simulator if it is running because I was using simulator before. You have to make sure your simulator is off or you can even close it. Because if you run the simulation, then you cannot build the networks or you cannot transfer the HMI screens from PC. So now my simulator is off. Now you can see this button is here. It says download to device. Click on this button and now it will ask you to locate your HMI. So my HMI is already in the node, which is 192.168.0.2. So I have to again, let's search it. So once you search the HMI, because the HMI is directly linked with the Ethernet wire to my PC, it will automatically find the HMI here. Um, this is the address which was in the HMI. OK, so you have to click on this um, HMI and click load. And then it will load the files from the system to your HMI. It's, it's, it's pretty simple. Just one step and you have you can quickly download your screens in the HMI. In the HMI, you may also see the transfer. And here you can see waiting for transfer. This is the status, which keeps on showing if there is any communication between PC and HMI. So if it starts downloading, you will also see the status here. All right, now here you can see it's compiling the configuration and on the HMI, you can see waiting for project transfer and it is connected. So we can override the existing file and click on load. Now once it's loading, you can see here the files are being transferred and now it is 100% transferred. Now it is running the startup runtime. So here you can see the HMI is loaded with the same program which we have here. OK, so if I click on screen zero, you can see this noise, which I because the acoustic signal is on. This is my screen zero and this is my screen one. And this is how I go back. That's how I go back. Now, if you want to see the system screens, click on the system screens and you will see the screen, same screens here. That's the user administration panel where you can see the user ID and password if you want. Go back. This is a system diagnostic. If you have any error in the PLC, you can also see that here. Go back. Some project information, which says this is the project created on this time. This is the author. There's no description added. Project name is one. And then you have uh, different jobs. If you want the, if you want to stop the HMI, you can click stop runtime. You can make it offline. You can also go to the transfer settings directly from here. And this is the system information in which it says this is a HMI model and there is no connection between PLC and HMI so far. So once we have the connection, I can also show you which PLC is connected to this HMI. You can have this information here. So this was the basic video about how you can load a sample program in the HMI. Or Although it's not a sample program because there's nothing inside that, it's a blank program. So in the next, in the next uh, next video we'll see how we can load the main program how we can link this program with the plc and how we can make buttons all right so sample screen is ready and this is the some instruction which you will find in the presentation if you want to just follow the presentation you have all the steps here and then congratulations you just learn how to download sample screen in hmi in the next lesson we'll understand the various hmi elements how to design it how to use it to monitor and control various parameters in the PLC. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.